Hey everybody, welcome back to another episode of Starbase. Hope you guys are having a good day. And uh, by the time of this video, I have not posted the previous episode's video. So if you left any comments or anything, I have not read them yet. Um, but uh, I'm pretty sure I will after this. <laughs> uh, but anyways, yeah, today we are going to work on the... Um, spoiler, or oh, spoiler. Yeah, spoiler alert. We're going to work on the engines. Um, or the thrusters. So I was thinking of going for a design like this. Um, just remember this ship is not all about the design work. It's more of the functionality of it. Like uh, a bunch of functions and things. Um, and yeah, that's about it. Not, you know, it's, it's not going to try to win any beauty prizes. That's the that's the whole idea of this ship. Um, it is to have systems on board that can automate and all those sorts of things. And... Uh, yeah, so I was just thinking of adding a couple more thrusters. I think here at the top, at that bottom, and mirrored this way as well. And then just a couple at the front. Uh, at that top and that top and at the bottom, same thing. Um, and that's just it, you know, just to, just to have that extra kick in power. Um, or movement, forward movement, going forward. So it's just, uh, because like... It's not really, it's not a very slow ship, but it can be faster. Um, so I was thinking of maybe looking at just those thrusters, do a speed test, see how fast it goes with the uh, range, or not range runner, but the sp speedy module thing. And maybe if there is time or if there is more room or something, then we can add more thrusters. Maybe to the sides over the top here and at the bottom as well. And maybe more you know just have a few more thrusters i don't want to do the whole plasma thruster thing a it is very expensive uh, a plasma thruster and b we will have to rip apart this whole middle section you know um split it or just cut out this middle part split it to sides have the plasma thruster in the center and then just reattach everything and i feel like that is that's not what i want to do that's, a, that's like the the ship has now been designed and everything now it's just upgrade so we're just gonna slap on our thrusters up until when we are happy i think that that's the whole idea of it um i was thinking of having thrusters here at the sides um maybe like just at the front as we would do at the top we do at the sides um but only in the front but the problem is, is I remember that I kind of want to, I'm sort of designing where the plates are going to go. This is what this is. It's just going to be some plating and whatnot. Just want a little bit of a stylish design. And uh, I know I said no no plates or anything, but that those are just going to be the only plates. Just to give this guy a little bit of a look. Um, it's, she, she's like, it's not really, uh, doesn't look good. <laughs> I know she said, I said she's not going to win any beauty badge like beauty contests or anything but just to remotely look like something you know so um yeah and then okay before i get ahead of myself you know deciding what's going to be next um let me go ahead and see if i can slap on a few more thrusters um what we can do before we kick things off let me just remove you and you bye bye and let's quickly just do a speed test, just as is. Um, just to see how fast this ship does go. I th think the boxes are empty. Uh, I mean, the uh, weight is reduced. But let's see. And I have to remove that flap on button. And let's do a cruise, but not turtle mode, and just go. Let's just see how fast this ship is going. We have to keep our eye on the speedometer over there. Um, okay, we're at 40 meters a second. And throttle is full. Cannot go any faster or higher than that. Uh, that is odd. Why is it only like... It feels it should have, should be much, much faster than... Interesting. Oh, you know what? I think... <clears throat> Sorry, I was quiet there for a second. 
I think I know why I do have. Let's go scene selection. Let's grab the crates and open this up. Remove mass, apply to selection. Okay, just give it a beat. Okay, let's try this again. Now, this is without the thruster. So we saw like 46 ish. The um, speed was about 46, which is not good. You know, it's really not great. Um, but let's uh, give this a whirl. Oh, much better. Much, much better. So we can now almost 100% confirm how fast this thing will go without any extra thrusters or anything. Looks about 110, 11, 12, 13. Okay, it's still going. It's still going. How fast can we uh, hit? Not like. I think that that's like a, the uh, end part of the test universe. But like, we're not really. 116 looks like it's stable at 116. Yeah, it's around there. 116 meters a second, which is not bad. But from 116 to 46. What that, what's that like? 60... 70 meters a second difference between full and empty? Yeah. Okay. So, let me quickly get to work, see what I can do, and we'll be right back. Hold on tight. Alright, and we are back. Welcome back. So, um... Let me start here at the back. Welcome back. I didn't say it. <laughs> um, so what I've done is I've opted for this sort of look with these uh, angled or yeah angled beams, and just added five more thrusters at the top over here. But in essence, it's five, ten, fifteen, twenty, twenty thrusters over here, and I gotta say it looks pretty snazzy, very very cool looking. And then I've gone and added. I was initially just gonna add two thrusters here at the top then i decided like wait a minute if i can just pull these forward then it's an extra five ten fifteen twenty so essentially we've added 40 more uh I, I would say boosters rather than just normal thrusters but they are they count as normal thrusters but for me it's in a sense more like boosters and um 10 20 30, 40, and this is 5, 10, 20. So we basically doubled up on the uh, back thrusters over here. Okay, so in, initially we just had the these uh, yeah, these 10, 20, 30, 40 at the back. Then, now we doubled up another 40. So, um, yeah, and if you guys are wondering, like, if this will hit, the exhaust will burn up these things. I think it will not as long as your thrusters, if it is nothing hitting on the end, like over here, man, my frames are gone, like running what, 44 frames a second, <laughs> um, but yeah, I think if you just uh, don't have anything in within this exhaust plume over here, so in a visual visualization tool, you visualize thruster exhaustion, and then that should give you an idea how far back you can build um, or space between all the thrusters. So yeah, let's go ahead and take away that. <clears throat> so I did test it first with a heavy load and it was around 70 meters a second around there. So we went from 40 to 70, 40, 50, 60, 70, so a 30 meters a second um, increase in speed which is pretty good, but I have not tested it with the empty crates. Uh, just to make double sure we have empty crates, let's go ahead and just select them. And as far as I understand, like this is, I hope I'm testing it correctly, because your crates are the, like if you have a miner, well, any ship will have crates. Your crates will be filled up, okay? And those are the main changes. I know these tanks, and I think these fuel rods... If these fuel rods, they the mass go down um, if you use them. I think. I'm not 100% sure. Um, but definitely these guys. Like propellant. Yeah. that that I think these will definitely change. 
in weight. So the further you travel, the lighter you get, but the less fuel you have. Just like basically any rocket science or whatnot. You know, basically the same thing. But as far as I can tell, um, that is definitely a change in weight will be um, crates. So, uh, yeah. I wonder. Okay, no, no, no. We're not, I'm not going to mess with that. So we want to see how fast this thing will fly with the double up on thrusters on empty crates. That's that's like what I'm really curious about. So without further ado, let's go ahead and uh, do just that. Okay, do that, that. And I did check all the thrusters are firing. So I'm very happy about that. Uh, let's go ahead and switch on our speedometer. I'm just going to plop this thing to be 100% of using the fuel chamber rate. Just, you know, ramping that up because we have a few more thrusters. Um, I feel like it's fine to use the eco mode like this. Um, yeah, I think it's, it's fine to do that, but we are going to run full power. We want full everything. And I don't know why the fuel chamber is now like empty back here. I know we, I was supposed, we were supposed to like go, but I, I thought these would reset, you know, the, the, like how full they are, but I don't know. I don't know. Like, it's really weird for me. I'm trying to hold in shift to go to fly faster <laughs> okay we got that we got that cruise mode engaged and let's look at the speed in three two one go oh that's a lot of pushing power and with a maximum speed of 142 oh it's still going up 44. I think we are. Hold on. It is leveling out now. It's stabilizing. 140. 60. I want say 147. 147. Holy crap. Look how far we've gotten already. 146.9. I think that's what it says. I can't really. Yeah, okay. Well, for 146. That's top speed. 146. Four meters a second slower than the cap of the game. That is amazing. Really, that is amazing. I gotta say. And it looks good as well. yeah okay let us then do a quick test with the crates filled uh, what, that no no stop it uh like that that pull down to the modules and this is the only time i'm using ever the scene view is to find my modules like there's a bunch the other things is just like it's unnecessary and this list is long i want this one specific bolt <laughs> um that apply Apply maximum mass to my selection, please and thank you. So now the uh, mass, the crate should be now quote unquote filled of the maximum amount of mass. Now I don't know if this is the correct way of testing it, but it's an way to test the weight. That, that, full power, and just waiting for. Okay, three, two, one, let's go. So I'll. Uh, Speed previously was something like 46 or something. And 47, 70. Let's do the trick. Uh, 75. We're still climbing, but it looks like it's leveling out at 75, 76 meters a second. Yeah, that's not too bad. That's halfway. That's like literally half. Okay, that's not too bad. See? Oh, wow, this is really draining up. Huh. Okay, so. Wait, um. Okay, so I'm thinking that. 
there is a bit of an issue the fuel chamber rate is not high enough and as far as i understand you can set it to a hundred percent well that's how i view it uh, no. <clears throat> so your fuel chamber rate limit it can go a hundred percent i feel like the rate itself the current rate it must be at least a hundred percent before attempting to fly that fast or to go full power i think that is but my question is now why is it not going upwards is it because maybe heat or something uh where are my radiators are below Let's see if we can quickly get to them i cannot wait for the heat update to get those heat sinks in here get get rid of this um well, I will, I will call this a wing, to be honest. The amount of radiators. Uh, radiation rate. I'm not such an idiot. I've got an indicator at the front. I put it in for a reason, man. No, no, I don't want to pick up the thing. Um, radiation rate at 80. So it, it caps out at 80, and this thing sits at 44%. Okay, let's uh, give this a whirl again. switch that on and now it looks like it's stable so it was yeah i was i, I was afraid of that the um fuel chamber rate was not at maximum when starting when flying off so there is some sort of a charge up rate so 75 so we hit about 76 meters a second yeah it's stabilized there what happens if i switch this off going down but will the eco-friendly code work looks like it's not ah uh, okay well in any case that is that's that we're buildings all right and yeah i gotta say like we don't have a lot of pushing power with the rolling thrusters and things um but i think that's mostly because the weight of this and i kind of prefer this way if you're heavy you should should be turning slowly we i wonder if it will stable okay well anyways enough of that anyways uh yeah i think with that is the end of today's episode we got ourselves so what we've done so far is we reconfigured the yolo I showcased you guys in the previous episode how the approach system works. Um, there will be some tweaks and things that will happen before before I um, reconstruct this <laughs> this ship. Um, what else? Uh, and yeah, today we did the uh, thrusters and things. Now comes the question: What do we want to do next? I mean, I've basically done what I want to do, mainly. But there could be... We could... Hmm. The only thing I'm sort of waiting for is the heat update to see how many heat sinks I have to slap on this guy. Because the, these are tier 2 generators on here. I got 2, 4, 6, 8. 16 of them. And... Like, obviously, one generator with uh, one fuel, uh, generator fuel chamber has four, quote unquote, four generators attached to each of them. So it is 816 times four. That's how many normal generators are on this thing. Um, I don't know how much heat this produces. And also, we have to take into account these guys produce heat. Um, I think, I'm pretty sure, yeah. Um, the mining lasers will definitely have a lot of heat on them. Um, so yeah, many things will emit heat. And we have to counter that. Our poor radiators downstairs is just like, oh, we're working overtime. Um, but they seem to handle this situation quite nominally. So yeah. All right, people. Thanks so much. See you guys next time. Bye-bye.